Secretary Buttigieg, thank you for making time for us. Uh, let's start from the beginning. The president was hoping for 2.3 trillion. He gets 1.2 trillion out of the Senate. That's still a lot of money. Uh, what will this do for the roads and highways and bridges that people travel every day? Well, this represents a historic opportunity to invest in transportation infrastructure that we all know needs a lot of work. Uh, you know, uh, uh, what this bill represents for Wisconsin alone when it comes to roads is more than five billion dollars. There's funding to fix our bridges, improve airports, uh, ports. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm not just talking about Great Lakes communities. Uh, anywhere in the Midwest that is involved in agriculture will benefit from us improving the conditions of our ports. We're also paying attention to a new form of infrastructure, digital infrastructure, because today being able to get on online with a fast, affordable internet connection is just as important as being able to get onto the interstate highway system. You need both to thrive in today's economy. I think that's why you see such remarkable bipartisan support for this bill. And uh, uh, that is, is something you don't see every day in, in this very divided Washington. I think it's a very good sign that we're on the right track and that this is going to make its way successfully to the president's desk so that we can get that funding out and get to work. You talk about the digital infrastructure. For small businesses, um, how much does a better and uh, more affordable broadband mean to them? Well, it's huge. You know, I saw the transformational effect in my own Indiana hometown of having access to high quality, affordable fiber. Uh, when you're operating a small business today to interact with your customers, and especially in this uh, pandemic era, uh, being able to interact with your own coworkers, uh, it's just indispensable. Uh, whether you're running a business or whether you're a student trying to do their homework, uh, you have got to have a good affordable internet connection. And the president believes 100% of Americans deserve to have that. Again, it's part of the basics now, uh, just like you ought to have uh, indoor plumbing and you ought to have electricity and you ought to have a good road going to your house, uh, you need internet too. And we're looking after that, again, on a bipartisan basis in this infrastructure bill. You talked about the significant bipartisan vote here in the Senate, but Senator Ron Johnson was one who voted against the bill, saying uh, that this was being paid for by using smoke and mirror gimmicks, saying even according to the Congressional Budget Office, that this would add $256 billion to the national debt. Is this money we don't have? That's what he's saying. Well, what we really can't afford is the status quo. We can't afford to do nothing. And we made very clear how this bill is paid for, uh, which is responsible measures to get the right kind of revenue lined up. And I would add, you know, one thing that our country and every country has uh, been able to prove time and time again is that investments in infrastructure have a return. Uh, the economy grows when you have better roads, and the economy can't grow if you have failing ports and airports or if your transit uh, roads and bridges are no good. Uh, you look at what our competitors are doing. Look at China. They're making massive investments in their infrastructure in order to gain a competitive advantage vis-a-vis uh, -vis the United States, which has been falling behind. The president believes America should lead the world economically, strategically, and that means leading the world with the best infrastructure. Secretary, one more question for you here. Uh, as you know, it still faces hurdles in the House. The biggest potential roadblock might be progressive Democrats. Uh, they want to see really a move on the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation in order to make sure the infrastructure bill uh, passes. What's your argument here to fellow Democrats and progressives who might slow down or prevent this deal from happening? Well, the bottom line is that this is a good bill and it deserves to pass. By the way, we believe the same about the budget framework that's coming together. Uh, even if that one has less Republican support, we think it's a good idea to extend the child tax credit to make sure that Americans can have paid family leave and all of the things going into that second bill that's going to be more family oriented. But this first one, this transportation infrastructure bill, is something that's going to be good for every single district in this country, every single community in this country. And that's the conversation I've been having all year and I'm going to continue to have with members of both chambers and both parties until we see it through. Secretary Buttigieg, we always appreciate your time. Good to talk to you again. Enjoy the rest Same of the Same here. Thank you. Nice seeing you. Take care.